Hi, my name is Thomas Matchin. I'm a psych major at the U of A. The piece of art I've decided to present to you today is called The Backwoods of America by the artist Jasper Francis. This piece of art can be found at the Crystal Bridges Museum of American Art in Bentonville. It's a fantastic place if you ever get to go there. Probably one of the better places in Arkansas, honestly. Um, Francis was a member of the Hudson River School, a group of artists that exclusively did landscaping art. And they were around from the early 1800s to the late 1800s, I believe. <clears throat> and one reason this piece of art struck out to me, along with most of other, uh, most of Francis's other pieces, was because of just how e at ease it put me. It made me feel, uh, it made me feel at home, really. Because I'm from a very rural part of Arkansas. And another reason it struck out to me is because as a history buff, I really like the history behind this painting. It came out, uh, he finished this in 1858. And 1858, as you might know, is really close to the Civil War. Just three years prior to it, actually. So, American industrialization is booming during this period. Millions of people are being displaced across the country. They're moving into these cities. They're working in these factories. They've never seen a factory before. They've just been farming their whole life, but that's no longer as efficient as it used to be. <clears throat> and then also you had these massive new railroads popping up that just crossed the whole country. So it really just, just, just new human architecture that's just tearing through this natural architecture. And I thought this painting was a nice contrast to the time period that was going on. <clears throat> uh, I just really love everything about it. The depth that he that Francis used is really great. The, with the guy right in the foreground here, you can see that he's pretty big. But in the background, you have this gigantic looming mountain that just gives you a nice sense of scale to the whole piece. Uh, the use of color here is brilliant. He's just really, uh, really dark browns, really dark greens to make the trees pop really seems natural in every way. I love everything about it. <clears throat> uh, Francis was a real religious guy also. So he, uh, man-made structures aren't made by God. He was a big, big religious guy. He loved architecture and he loved God. So he just painted, he really admired everything about nature. He, that's why he became a landscape artist. He quit school for being an architect so he could be a landscape artist because he wanted to um, uplift God's creation to a different form, you could say. Along with this, most art up until this point in history hadn't been of these large, sprawling landscapes, but more of like a, it had a religious association to it. And I mean, you could make a point that this painting does have a religious association to it since he painted it to uplift God's creation. But unlike previous art that came before it, it didn't have like a direct image of God. It didn't have any just really forward religious association in the painting itself. Or uh, other paintings that came before this were portraits of rich aristocrats or people that could pay to have portraits painted of them. So I thought it was pretty interesting how this landscape art kind of took over the, the trend in art. And it's still a big, it's a, still a big thing today even. And I, it's probably one of my favorite art types. I love looking at these large land masses. It's just awe-inspiring to me. <clears throat> um, methodologies in this painting, I'd say autobiography. Jasper had a love for architecture and God, which I went over. And uh, in every one of his works, he has these large towering structures. I mean, not structures even, just towering masses like... In this one particularly, it's the mountain. But he has something like that in every one of his pieces. And to me, I think that represents God looming over the earth in his mind. And I thought that was really interesting that he did that. Well, yeah, if you ever go to Crystal Bridges, make sure you go by and check out Jasper's art if it's still there. He's like the main exhibit in the gigantic landscape section of the museum. Really good stuff. Uh, if you like nature, you'll really like that whole exhibit. Um, but yeah, thanks for listening.